Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be showing you how to build these two pavises. Enjoy. So starting with the regular pavis first, I have this very large piece of cardboard. If you don't have a large piece of cardboard to make a big shape out of, just glue multiple pieces together. So I have half of the design drawn out here and I'm just gonna cut it out right now. And this is what the shape looks like. It's two feet long and one feet wide. And what I'm gonna do is before gluing it onto the remainder of the cardboard here, uh, which I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna double layer it, right? But first I'm gonna bend this, just like so. And then I'm gonna flatten it out again, trace it onto this remainder of cardboard, cut that out, bend that too, and then glue the two curved inward pieces to each other just for strength. Before gluing the two halves together, I'm going to grab the half that's going to be underneath. And I have some regular strap and this buckle piece right here. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do to make a regular strap for the bottom of your forearm and for the wrist. So I have some strap, I'm gonna cut it about right there. I made sure to singe both ends with a lighter. So what you're gonna do with the strap adjustment piece, you're going to grab one end, stick it through the bottom, and then go all the way through, and then go down through the top of the other side. And then what you're gonna do after that, grab the other end, and then you're gonna have a big, you're gonna have a big loop right here. Do the same thing, go under for the first side you just started with, and then go down through the top of the second thing you did, and then pull that through. And then make sure you keep this loop right here. So that is what you would attach to one side. And then this right here will be holding your arm in place. And then you, you'll glue that to something. You'll loop that through a piece of like popsicle stick. And then this right here will be the thing you pull to adjust the, um, the tightness and everything. So cut through your shield. I use a popsicle stick for support and then pull that loop through. And then on the side, you're gonna be left with these two tails right here. Pinch them together like this. It's okay if they're uneven still. If you want, you can just pinch them together so they're even like that. And run both of them through that adjustment feature, starting from the bottom, going up, and then down from the top on the second hole. And then of course, the longer strap, just run through this hole right here. And then when it sticks out on the back, glue it in place. And like when that's mounted, this strap will be your adjustment feature. This is what it looks like from both sides. As you can see, I use popsicle sticks for supports because cardboard would just rip completely. And this is what it looks like from the other side if I was wearing a gauntlet. And that tiny little flap, I know I should have cut it a little bit longer, but if I wanted to pull it, uh, I could. But now you can see what the idea is. And I'm gonna have to add like a grip right here. So I guess let's just do that now. There it is, exactly the same design as back here. Now I cut out another piece for the pavis and this time I drew out the center. I cut a hole in the middle and this is a rim I'll use for the exterior. So then I do the second layer down on the pavis and now there are two pieces on top of each other and then hot glue the rim piece that we just cut out right on top just like so. And what I did was I cut open an old masking tape roll, the cardboard support, and I glued it on there for a rim in case I want to punch an enemy, it'll just guard my hand. And that is how you build a regular pavis. So now we're going to build a second one. So all the same instructions apply, except the shape, literally it. So here it is, the second shape we're gonna use and it is a spiked pavis, uh, if you couldn't tell because of the spike. And we're pretty much just going to apply everything we did here just to a different shape. That's the only difference. Here's the base of the spiked pavis from both sides here. And I use popsicle sticks and a big plastic thing uh, that has some flexibility and durability to strengthen it. And so what we're gonna do is what we did last time, cut out the same shape, put that over, so glue that permanently there. Uh, in place and then the rim looks like this because when I paint it it's gonna look like there's an exposed sharpened steel blade. What I'm gonna do next is use my glue gun to create these rivets just by putting some hot glue down there just like so and here they both are with rivets. 
And now the last thing we're gonna do is spray paint them. And here they both are spray painted silver. And what I'm gonna do, which is a very popular method among cosplayers and people who use EVA foam, I'm going to douse it, especially this one, in some black shoe polish. And I'm gonna rub off the excess so it looks like a worn steel look on the uh, blade edge. And here they are, um, complete. You have your regular pavis and your spike pavis, and that is how I make them. As you can see, the texture is a little bit weathered. There's a little bit of black, um, but mostly I put some black paint on the edge there on the spike pavis, and then sprayed it with a bottle of water, and then wiped off with a paper towel just to leave it in the crevices and everything. And if you wanted to spray paint these, you just put tape over it, mask it off, and you have any kind of design you would like. Um, but I want to keep these silver so I can keep the teams neutral on either of the pavises. And um, yeah, that's how you do it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.